This is the first test of the replacement power window control unit I've made for my father's uh, Opel Senator B from 92. The original unit had failed due to water damage. Here it is, minus the relays, and as you can see it's quite high tech. I managed to track down this 555 timer as being failed, but upon replacing it it worked for about a week and I think the process is dead now. So I've constructed this much more simple solution is just two NPN transistors and two relays. And this is the first test of it. I'm going to turn the power on. Hopefully it won't explode. It didn't. And if we're lucky we should be able to tick the relays by applying power to these two the connectors there, there and there. So let's try it. That one works. I should add that this thing is not soldered yet. Only the bare minimum, a couple of joints here and here and there for the power cables are soldered. This is because I want to make sure that there's no strain on the solder joints when it goes in the car since, well, I'd rather not have to take the bloody door apart again just to replace this thing because the first solder joints failed. Let's see the other one. There you go. Works a charm. This thing of course doesn't have any automatics or window down detection or any of that fancy crap but the original one didn't even have an automatic you know press the button once and windows goes down all the way. It didn't do that. None of them do. So I suppose it's not too big a loss. Just have to remember not to keep the button down once the window's at the edge. Yep, that's it. Until next time. This is the next test of the power window control unit. This time it's mounted into the, well, whatever you wish to call it that goes inside the plastic box that's attached to the actual motor in the car. Let's see if it works. It's connected through the car's connector, which I've actually mapped here, else this would be rather hard to do, so let's see if it ticks. That's up, and that's down. Works a charm.